Ladies and gentlemen, this is Bishop Brad coming to y'all on a review this evening on a video that I have been wanting to do for the longest time. I want to thank Mr. K. John himself from K. John's Fiery Foods. Um, he actually was able to assist me in getting the, the Ghost Scorpion Lager. Now, this beer, the Ghost Scorpion Lager with peppers added, this is coming from the Elevator Brewing Company. Now, what's really great, and let me help you all understand what happened with this bottle. For all of you who don't know, to keep it simple. The godfather of the hot sauce world came together with the Elevator Brewing Company. They brewed a beer, came together, and actually made this product. Uh, the artwork on this is an absolutely incredible. Artwork created by Engine House 13. Engine House 13, y'all are rocking, dude. Love it. Love, love the artwork on this. It's a 5.0% uh, alcohol. And let me read with this. This is the hottest beer in the world, ladies and gentlemen. Let me uh, help you understand this. The first time I got to taste this was at the Houston Hot Sauce Festival. Mr. K. John Hart himself pulled this out of a cooler and said, Brad, taste it. He videoed it on his camera. I felt pretty dumb because when I took a sip, it came up into my face and it looked like I didn't know how to drink a damn beer. Anyway, um, I carried this beer around until I finished it at the festival. This was one of the hottest beers that I've ever had in my life. Now, I recently attained them, and I had another one the other night. I don't know if it was the mood. I just couldn't finish it. It was actually that hot. Um, but what's great about the beer is to see that they took scorpion peppers, which, let me help you all understand, scorpion peppers normally range between 750,000, maybe 650,000, and can come close to a million. It depends on the elements and the way it's grown. So a scorpion pepper is very, very hot. Almost as hot as a Bucilokia. Well, here's what this says. The Bucilokia or ghost chili and the Trinidad scorpion chili are the two hottest peppers on the planet. With both clocking in at well over 1 million Scoville heat units, more than 400 times hotter than a jalapeno, by adding equal parts of these two powerhouse peppers to our classic German-style beer, we have created the world's hottest beer. Can you handle the Ghost Scorpion Lager by K. John? Now, excellent, wonderful, I love it. On presentation, on marketing, I truly give this a 9.5 out of 10. I would give him a 10, but y'all would think I was kissing K. John's ass. Okay? I love that man. Let me tell you something about this man. I love the way he conducts himself. Uh, being the known as the godfather of the chili world, it is uh, very an honor to just be where I'm at today for him to assist me in making sure I was able to attain a bottle and put his faith and trust in me on this. Um, I, I, I will say that they created the world's hottest beer. It's not for everybody. Now, I know there will be a series that maybe he will probably do this year because I know they were limited runs. But at the same time, this beer owes its due. It gets its due. It needs its due. It's the world's hottest beer, and this review's for you, baby boy. Let's go ahead and do this. Let's see what this baby looks like. You ready to roll? Let's roll. Look at that. Ooh, carbonation love. A lot of carbonation. Pretty big head on that thing. Lots of carbonation. Look at this thing. Take a look at this baby. Murky. But I see, you know, I know that's the, you know, the barley, the oats, the yeast, but it just looks like it's just hot as hell with scorpion love and bootchalokia. All right. 
I was gonna give this a, 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 a you know right down the line review, but this is for you, K. John, from me and Steve Seabury. Uh, Steve's asked me to chug it, so I wanted to give you the best review possible on presentation on all of this on aroma. Let me give you some aroma love. Sweet smelling peppers. I smell the darn peppers in this thing. This is actually a challenge for me. This is a review and a challenge. What I'm going to do is chug this beer. The world's hottest beer for you, Mr. K. John, from me and Mr. Steve Berry from High River Salsas. We love you very much. I wish I was in New York seeing the both of you right now. Cheers to the chili heads on British Bishop Brad chugging the world's hottest beer. Let's roll. That wasn't meant to happen. Mr. K. John, I love you. Mr. John, I, that wasn't meant to happen. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that's hot. Here's the world's hottest beer. But the carbonation, the carbonation is what made that happen. Ah. Uh, Uh, this video video turned out more to be a, a fucking circus show than it was a prominent review of love. Steve, you did good, baby. I trusted you. I trusted you. I did what you told me to do. He got me good. <coughs> Flavor, I'd give the darn thing a, a 7 out of 10. On carbonation, I'd give it a 10 out of 10. <coughs> On heat, that ain't for the average person. I'd give that a 7 out of 10. No, I'd give it a 5, five 6 out of 10. Between 5 and 7. Depends on where you're at. Holy crap. On all around product, though, for the Ghost Scorpion, just don't drink. Don't chug it. Don't chug the, the darn thing. Bishop Brad gives this dang thing, this beer, I give it an all around. Six and a half out of ten. Six and a half out of ten. A must have for the chili head. A must have for the beer drinker. Could someone sit down and truly enjoy this beer? It's not meant to sit down and truly enjoy this beer. And if you try, if you are trying to, you're just trying to be a hard ass. You know, this actual beer, I eat hot stuff all the time. This beer is by far the world's hottest beer. Okay? Uh, for, for that... 7 out of 10. You know what I mean? It's all a, a, a thing of preference, but I want to thank Mr. K. Jones very much for sending me this beer. I'm sorry. I, oh, I do. <laughs> this Bishop Brad, baby. Way to go, Steve. I love you, baby. I can't wait to drink beer with you. And I want you to understand something. K. John Hart, being the man that he is, he is a true fiesta man of love. The man is an enjoyable gentleman. He's an excellent gentleman. I love the way he conducts what he does for a living. The man is great to hang out with and drink beers with. Uh, I just, 
I want to apologize, but apologizing means that it wouldn't have been real. So this is Bishop Bragg coming to you on my Ghost Scorpion Challenge from Mr. Steve Seabury. I love y'all. This is Bishop Brad. I'll see y'all, baby, on the next video. Bye-bye.